Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Man Cave Stuff. I'm your friendly host, Jackbox Creations. Now, guys, in part one of our series, we took a look at an Allen Iverson Swingman Nike jersey. And that jersey was about 20 years old, and it was a mess. So what we decided to do was we took it apart. Um, we popped the seams, uh, we cleaned it up, we steamed it. In part two of our series, we're going to be choosing which player we're actually going to be going with, with our Swingman to Authentic Jersey remake. We have a lot of guys that we can choose from, as Philadelphia has a rich history of great players and great nicknames. So, without further ado, the player that we decided to go with is the Chuck Wagon himself, Charles Barkley. Now, this, this NBA Hall of Famer was part of the Dream Team. So he's one of the, the game's greatest. We're going to be doing some tracing and, as we revealed, uh, make our Charles Barkley jersey. I did some searching earlier to try to find basically a good image of the 1990-91 jersey that Barkley wore with the Sixers. And I came across um, some good images. So we're going to go ahead and trace those. We're going to start off, we're going to select our pen tool over in the panel here. Um, another thing to do is we're going to switch out the fill. Uh, really all we need is the stroke. We'll go with, um, I think a nice lime green would be best. Just something that stands out. That's really all we need. And we'll drop the stroke point down to 0.5. All right. So first we're going to um, trace the, inter, the the white part here, and we can pretty much start anywhere. And I'm going to start at the small point of the S. Okay, so there we have our S. If we switch the stroke and fill around, you'll see we have a, a good idea of our shape. You know, if we want to zoom in here, like I said, we're, we'll be able to move things around. We just want to get a rough idea of where each one of these points are. Trace the inside here. Once I have the proper shape. I'm going to go over here to my Shape Builder tool. If I hold the Option button, that creates the inside of the R. All right, that looks pretty good. Again, we'll go back and adjust it as we see fit. Now, this is, as you can see, the mesh here is a little slanted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the shift um, when I'm working with the horizontal um, creation of these numbers. All right, so it looks like the numbers on the back, it looks like they are a little different. So we'll have to give this a trace also. All right, guys, so we got everything traced. We went back and made sure all the points looked good. Um, took care of the, the stroke around the numbers and everything, and we're ready to move on. In the next episode, we'll go ahead and cut these out, uh, sew them, 
and we'll, we'll have a final product. Don't forget to like, comment, and turn on your notifications and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time on Man Cave Stuff.